In problem number 36 of section six point, or section 3.6, uh, we're doing something a little different than we've done before. Until now, we've looked at um, the uh, formulas for the surface area for re revolving a curve around the x-axis. I'm going to say, well, what's the formula if we revolved some curve around, uh, say, a line y equals mx? So if we have some function that's, we'll just assume that's uh, strictly greater than um, mx. So. We have our line uh, y equals mx. I'll we'll have our function somewhere up here, f of x. We want to know what happens if we revolve it not around um, you know, a line parallel to the x-axis, but rather just around this line itself. So using the line y equals mx as the axis of rotation. And we want to do that on the interval um, ac. So this is the area that we want to rotate around the line y equals mx. Uh, but to do this, we need, uh, or to come up with an integral formula, we need to know the distance between the line y equals mx and uh, the graph of uh, f of x. Now, in the last problem, uh, you found that a formula for um, just any point, let's just call this point um, x1 y1. A formula for the distance between this point and uh, the line y equals mx is given by uh, d equals, well, right over here on the board, um, absolute value of y1 minus m uh, times x1 over the square root of m squared plus 1. So you can think of this d as actually being a function of x because we're going to want the distance between all the points on the f on the graph of uh, f of x for x between a and c. Uh, so we can consider this uh, d of x equal to, well, y is now just going to be f of x minus m times x over the square root of m squared plus 1. So now we can come up with a formula for uh, surface area. We're going to do this in the same way that we uh, came up with formulas for the surface area when we were revolving just around the x-axis. And so we're going to take uh, essentially the in infinitesimal uh, surface areas and just take the continuous sum of them. So for each cross-section, um, the cross-section is just going to look um, like a circle. So we want to take the circumference of the circle then multiply it by some infinitesimal thickness. Uh, so the circumference is just going to be 2 pi times the radius, but the radius is the distance between uh, the graph of f of x and the line y equals mx. That's 2 pi times d of x. And then we're going to have to multiply it by that little bit of thickness, which is the arc length. Um, this is the arc length of. Um, f of x between, you know, just the, or the infinitesimal length of, uh, length of piece of the arc of, or piece of the curve of f of x. That's going to be 1 plus uh, dy dx, which is the same as f prime of x, uh, that quantity squared. And of course, dx. And we want to integrate this from uh, a to c. So the final formula is the integral from a to c of 2 pi times the absolute value of f of x minus mx over the square root of m squared plus 1 times uh, square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared. Uh, dx.